Hi there everyone, Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks and I wanted to uh, create another Bob's Tips video and this is in response to a request that I had from a, a customer in regards to uh, a steering horn or a linkage horn uh, for your linkages in your RC submarine. Now you can buy things like this uh, and these are uh, called steering arm uh, assemblies. It's nylon with an embedded brass collar inside but as you can see it's quite sizable and in a lot of boats unfortunately you don't have the room to install something like this and so historically what I do uh, and what a lot of people do is build your own and I want to show you how to do that because it's a fairly simple process uh, there's a few steps to it but we'll walk you through it what I've got here is uh, some simple uh, brass flat stock um, it's about a quarter of an inch thick I've got a plated wheel collar you can get these uh, online really easily got some silver solder some liquid flux and a uh, little propane torch the only other thing that you're going to need uh, are some drill bits um, you're going to need a drill bit the uh, same size as the inside diameter of your wheel collar uh, and then a 1 16th drill bit so that you can install your linkage uh, through that. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to drill a few holes uh, in this flat stock. So what I'm going to want to do is uh, drill a series of holes um, spaced, uh, I'm going to say like 3 sixteenths of an inch apart and maybe put four or five of them down the length of the uh, brass stock right down the middle. Now that we got that done, what I'm going to do is uh, just going to round off the uh, outside corner there and grind off the um, lip that got created on the bottom there. There we go, it's just a little bit smoother. All right, now we're going to get to the uh, the soldering part. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little drop of liquid flux <clears throat> right there, and I'm going to pre-tin the brass just so it ends up being one less thing that I need to hold on to. So put a nice solid bead of silver solder in there. Now when we get to this wheel collar, um, I've got a stainless steel set screw in there. Uh, the solder will not stick to that. So if you do end up kind of missing when you're soldering and you don't, you don't be able to get any in that hole. So I certainly recommend that. So what you're going to want to do now is be mindful of which direction you want the set screw to be facing, either uh, left, right, uh, or of course out the back or the front, depending on your application. In this particular case, I'm going to have it uh, pointing off to the right hand side. I'm going to take a little bit of the liquid flux and just put just a little bead on the bottom, just to make sure that it adheres really well, set it in place, heat it up, and that's settled down in there. Perfect. So that is now completely fused to the brass stock. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to let that cool down. I'm going to cut it free, uh, grind it down, and then we're going to bore out the center of that uh, wheel collar and we're going to be pretty close to being done. All right, here you can see our assembly. Like I said, I'm just going to take my side cutters, snip off the brass rod, and we end up with this a um, little bit rough looking version. I'm just going to grind off these corners. That's looking a little bit more polished. We're going to grab our uh, 1 8 inch, in this particular case, 1 8 inch drill bit. 
uh, set it up in the drill press and get ready to press that through the uh, wheel collar. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the uh, assembly with my pliers here, uh, make sure that it's flush on the board. And uh, one thing I did do is I removed that set screw. You do not want to uh, drill into that as you uh, drill through here. So let's bore that down. There we go. So that's now all the way through. We've got a 1 8 inch shaft there. We've got a series of 16 inch holes on the side. I'm just going to grab our stainless steel set screw, put that in place. And we've now got a completed horn assembly. I'd say the whole thing took me, uh, you know, about five minutes all said and uh, of course if you're building a lot of them you can set up in a bit of a production line fashion but that's all it is to uh, manufacturing your own horns uh, control horns for your linkages well, there you go everyone again this is Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks thanks for joining me I hope you enjoyed fabricating your very own uh, servo horns if you got any questions um, you'd like me to touch on something in these videos just pop me an email uh, you can email me at bob at rc-sub.com anytime. Thanks for joining me. We'll catch you next time.